Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie. I'm the founder of Awaken Wild Child, which is a platform I created to assist others with spiritual awakening and basically help each other and support each other as a community to get to where we want to go, manifest our new reality. So today I wanted to share something very important and very personal with you. So a lot of my students and a lot of my patients have come to me with the same issue over the years, and it is the deep disconnect they feel from the concept of God. So many of them, the, vo the vast majority of them, actually come to me because they have been raised within a certain religion and they don't necessarily resonate with the principles of those religions and they feel like they need to create or embark on the journey of creating a new connection to spirituality and to God. I find this to be so absolutely important and so essential for honestly allowing people to feel fulfilled within their lives. It happened to me, like honestly, when I started this whole path, if you don't know me, I am a yoga teacher, I am a certified past life regression therapist, I'm a shaman, or at least I went through like shamanic training, all of those things. I don't really believe in the concept of being a shaman, you know but um, the label. However, I do feel like that process that I went through at the beginning is something that a lot of people are experiencing now and that I should help. So when I started, I was raised Catholic, Christian, something in between, not really very devoted, but I went through all the rituals at school. You know, my school was a Catholic school, so everything was kind of like given to me and programmed into me. And I remember from an early age, I was craving that connection. I remember like looking forward to religion class. And then, you know, the teacher was like completely like depressed and, and sad. Not, th not that there's anything wrong with that, but it wasn't very inspiring. She would read from a book and just like leave as soon as she could. And it was just such a like heavy energy. And, and I never really found anything within her words, within the text or anything for me. And then I remember going to philosophy class and I was just like, oh my God, you know, like this is so intense. This is so crazy. I loved it. And that had a very powerful imprint on me. And from there on, I kind of like knew how interested I was in spirituality and how interested I was in all of these things. But I never knew how to approach this. So this is my guide. This is my step to step, I guess, on what you can do today to heal your relationship to God and to deprogram everything that you don't really resonate with, okay? So first step, take a notebook or a journal and write a list of all the programming that you have received over the years and that you don't necessarily resonate with. For example, um, if I'm a bad human in this lifetime, I'm going to go to hell. Or um, there's certain uh, spirit guides that I can connect to and there's others that I cannot connect to. Or... Um, anything that is not Jesus is uh, profanity or is uh, a reason for me to go to hell. Tarot is evil. Yoga is evil. Breath work is evil. Anything that connects me to intuition is evil. Um, if you don't go to church every Sunday, you are a bad person. Or, you know, all these things that we don't really recognize that we have received over the years. Maybe it's not your case. Maybe you were exposed to another religion. Here in Panama, where I live, that's usually like the most common thing that people complain to me about. And I feel like it really creates a deep, deep wedge that prevents people from connecting to their inner wisdom. Because it's like anything that could get you to a connection with yourself is deemed as evil. So you can't really know yourself. You're intimidated and out of fear. You're bullied into believing that you have to do certain things to be a good person and that only if you're good enough, God is going to approve of you and that that's unconditional love. And I feel like that is so harmful. First of all, unconditional love is unconditional. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter how you act, it's love. Starting from that. Then I believe that we harness this I'm not good enough mentality and it's so harmful for everybody because it's like, am I generous enough? Am I kind enough? Am I committed enough? Am I honest enough? Am I... And we are just humans. We are here in this life to experiment everything. That is why we have the ability of all the things that we have, good and, and bad, good and bad, positive and negative, you know, 
And if we are basing our self-love and we are thinking that the love of God who created us is completely conditional, you know, we are setting ourselves up for failure. So first step, write all the program that you have received and mark next to it, like if you really believe it or not, okay? Then second step, um, I want you to connect to what really makes you feel a spiritual spark. So I remember when I was growing up, I didn't have yoga yet. I didn't have meditation yet. I didn't have any of those tools. But I remember there was some years in high school in which I was really into surfing. And that was my thing. And I would go like every single weekend, sometimes even on weekdays, I would skip school to go surfing. It was just my passion at that time. And I remember having a conversation with my mom in which she told me like, you need to get closer to God. You need to go to church. You need to go to church. Like that was the only way to get close to God. I've never felt more disconnected than I do in church, honestly. I, it doesn't bring anything up for me. I know that a lot of people have beautiful experiences and I respect that and I honor that. But for me, it wasn't the case. So I remember telling her, mom, I am closest to God when I'm in the water. You don't get it, but I do. It makes me feel connected. It makes me feel safe. It makes me feel loved. So that is my spiritual experience. So I want you to make a list of all the things that spark within you a spiritual something. You know, whether it's Shavasana, the yoga class, you feel amazing, or meditation, surfing, working out, writing, traveling. What is it for you that brings you closer to that essence within you? I want you to write that down. And then I want you to, step number three, I want you to pray. But I want you to pray to the energy of unconditional love that is surround, surrounds you all the time and is within you. Because the concept of God has so much resistance and so much like added information collectively. So I want you to skip that. I want you to skip the concept or the belief that you can only pray to Jesus. I respect, honor, and connect deeply with the energy of Jesus. My intention is not to bring you out of that. My intention is instead to bring you closer to that by eliminating the labels, okay? So if you don't resonate with this, that's, that's perfectly fine. You can find a lot of different content. But if you are going through this process and you are feeling inspired by it, I recommend you to remove all the labels. If you're used to praying to Krishna, to Vishnu, Ganesha, or to angels, or to Jesus, or to Mother Mary, or, you know, whatever, whoever you project your love to, I want you to kind of like put that aside and get rid of the characters of it and i want you to connect to the energy that eternal love within your heart that fire that spark that's within you the life that is the creator of everything good and evil you know i want you to focus on that that energy that makes you feel expansive and loved and supported and is that energy that makes you feel inspired and motivated and makes you feel like this world is a safe place to be in i want you to pray to that energy and ask that energy to come into your life through the spiritual path of most resonance to you and be open to what happens next. Because this is how I find my path. And my path, honestly, is non-denominational, I guess you could say. I don't... It's not about the tools, you know? It's not about the tarot or the yoga class or surfing or writing. It's not about the specific prayer or the mantra. It's not about the character. It's about what brings me closer to my highest self. And that's why my path is filled with all sorts of disciplines. And I do, I study metaphysics and I study, as I mentioned, yoga and um, shamanism, tarot, you know, you name it. But none of those things have power over me. You know what I mean? Like none of those things I don't serve any of those things. Those things serve me to find my connection to the divine. And that's my take on this. And I really hope this helps. You don't have to feel guilty. A phrase that really helped me is that everybody's going to hell in someone else's religion. <laughs> so, I mean, enjoy your life. Live impeccably. Be a good person. Be of service. Make this world a better place. And honor your mistakes. Learn from them. Be gentle with yourself, forgive yourself, forgive others, live from love instead of fear, and you'll see how miracles begin to happen in your life. 
I hope this is really helpful. I'm sending you all my love and light, and I hope this clarifies maybe some doubts and fears that you've been having. Um, if you like this content, if you like my vibe <laughs> and you would like to connect further, please check out my website, awakenwildchild.com, subscribe to this channel, and you'll see every Friday a new video coming up. And we also have on the website a lot of resources. We have articles and videos and online courses that you can check out as well. So love you guys. I look forward to connecting to you every week. And I hope this was really helpful. Sending all my love.